Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how, how you can, in Blender, have a character pick up an object in Blender and put it down somewhere else uh, by using this add-on called the Grab It add-on. It's a, an add-on you have to purchase, but as I always say, for the price, it's not that bad. Um, I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is the same, and also as for Blender... 2.9 and above. It doesn't work in 2.8 at all, just 2.9 and above. Um, I think the developer has uh, updated it, but I'm using the, uh, I guess, the original version of it. But to install it in Blender, just go to Edit, click on Edit, Preferences, Install, uh, navigate where you've downloaded it onto your computer, click on Install Add on. I've already done that myself. And then you type in, let me type in grab and put a check in the box and it's activated and ready to go. And it's on the right hand side of the UI or the user interface of Blender, which is the toolbar. And there's just three basic buttons, grab, parent, drop. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use. Um, click on our move gizmo. I'm gonna pull our cube up. We're gonna use Suzanne as an example, uh, as part of this uh, example, shift A. Mesh and Plane. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Let's delete that. Shift A, Mesh, Monkey, not Plane. And we're going to kind of smooth out a little bit more. And we're going to click on Subdivision Surface and apply that. Now, uh, we're going to have the cube, let's say, represent the hand of a model. And the cube is going to move from the left side to the right. It's going to pick up Suzanne and drop over here. Uh, but before we do that, we have to animate our cube here. So we're going to click on our record button and then left click on the X axis. And let's just pull it down this way first because this is where we want the cube to start. Click on 20. Pull the cube this way. Click on 40 and pull the cube further down in the scene. And let's click on 60. I'm going to click, uh, or this is. Let's click on 60, 60, let's type in 60, let me see, here's 60, enter, and turn off our uh, recording uh, aspect here, and we're going to, oh, that's already ended it at 60, I don't know why Blender got rid of this, these two brackets, because this is pretty useful when it comes to cutting down our timeline, but let's get back to the tutorial, when we go back to the beginning, we press play, we see our cube's going back, that way, back that way. And let's give it uh, some movement on 60 to actually go back to back to the beginning. So let's click on our record gizmo and pull this back on the x-axis. Left click and drag on the x-axis. Turn off recording again, let's press play. And it goes back. That's, where, that's the movement that we're looking for. Now, in order for this to work, um, like I said before, we're going to use these buttons here. And we're going to go to where the uh, cube is hovering over Suzanne. And let's just uh, pull it along this, this uh, let's pull this parameter here. And she's over, the cube is over Suzanne at, at frame 20. And we're going to click on grab because we want this to be the hand model, so to speak, that's going to pick up Suzanne. And we're going to click on Suzanne and click on parent because we want the monkey, which is Suzanne, to be parented to the cube when it moves. Now let's go to frame 40. Click in here, press 40. And we're going to click on our monkey again and then press drop. And then we're going to go back to the beginning. Now when we press play, it's going to pick up Suzanne Take her over here and go back to the beginning again. So let's press play. And there you go. It's just simple and straightforward. And it's really effective. But let's give it a test because I always try to test these add-ons every time I showcase them. And what I've done, <clears throat> excuse me, with a file, open recent grab IT toot. Let's not save this. I have a character that I've downloaded from iClone. And if you press play, you can see this hand is moving. The hands are moving. And what I want to do 
Because if you notice with the grab it add-on, it doesn't work with an armature. It only works with the mesh of the object. So I'm going to press Shift A, mesh, and put in a cube here. I'm going to scroll it down, press S. I want to see if this uh, the grab on the grab it add-on works with animations that aren't made inside of Blender. That's the test. So I'm going to put this cube beside our character here. And I'm going to find the grab it add-on, which is right here. I'm going to click on our character here. Let's pull it up so we can start our timeline. And let's uh, scroll through. Okay. Right here is where his hand kind of goes up. And at this point, I'm going. I want him to pick up the cube. Let's see if he does. So we're going to keep him selected. Press grab. Click on that and press parent. And let's see what happens. Go back to the beginning. Let's press play. Okay, so it doesn't work. So I guess that's the limitations of the add-on. It only works when you create an animation inside of Blender. If you import an animation from outside and, and import the animation into Blender. It doesn't work, which is, you know, for the most part, it's not a big deal. It's, you know, if you're, you just have to make sure you make your animation within Blender and you're good to go. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, which is the Grab It add-on. And I hope that this tutorial was helpful for those of you who have watched it. And I really thank you guys who have been watching the tutorials in the past and in the present and the ones who watch in the future. And once again, I appreciate you guys 100%. And remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.